Good morning, guys. Yes, today is my last day and it's all about my macadamia and vanilla parfait. We're talking about toasted nuts and seeds laid with delicious vanilla coconut cream topped with fresh, delicious fruit. This is perfect, one that the kids can definitely get their hands into and you can make a big batch so you're never going hungry and you've always got the best meal of the day ready to go on hand. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen and Luke, you're making a parfait. What is that? A posh mousse? Look, you know what? A lot of people ask me that. A parfait is a name for a layered dessert normally, but this is actually a layered breakfast. Now, I've got to ask, are you familiar with getting dirty? <laughs> Am I familiar with getting dirty? Of course I'm familiar with right. getting dirty. Well, you're going to get your hands dirty today because I need your help. Now, have you had much experience with nuts? Lots. <laughs> All right, so we have got an abundance of them here today. I can see that. We've got macadamia nuts. We also have the walnut. Now, the reason I use walnuts is because they're really high in omega-3. Now, when we're talking about the omegas, we've got three and six, which are most commonly talked about. Omega-3s are packed with really good fats and they're great for us, but omega-6 can actually be a little bit inflammatory for the body. So oh. the two hero nuts when we're eating these are macadamias and walnuts because they're packed with more three than six. Good. A little bit of a health tip And there's for you. some sort of link between um, walnuts and brain power, I read. The uh, foods that look like the thing that they, they help. That could totally be, you know, witchcraft. I like your thinking. It could be all sorts of sorcery, <laughs> but I tell you what, I'm in for it if you're up for Perfect. it. Perfect, I am. You know that pepitas actually are known to help men with regrowth of their hair? Well, I need those. <laughs> I do. And then I here do. we've got some sunflower seeds which we're putting in there and shredded coconut. I tell you what, shredded coconut makes everything taste better. I could put it in almost any dish and uh, try and make it work. I would like to challenge that. Now, here we go. Things are going to get a little bit saucy, if okay, you don't mind. Good. We've got maple syrup. And again, this is giving us a sweetness without uh -huh. all that refined uh -huh. sugar. And we've good. got coconut oil, which is going to give us a beautiful golden brown type crunch on top of this. See, the big difference between you and Mark is that I've seen Mark use, uh, use um, butter in more uh -huh. recipes than you could poke a stick at. Butter. For you, I think it's coconut oil. It is, it is. I tell you what, I've been here for two weeks now and uh, when Mark gets back, the diet's over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I want, you to, I want you to mix your nuts. Okay, I'm going to mix right. my nuts. Very Nothing good. Like... Give it a really good coating. Yep. Generous. You want to be generous with these nuts. Okay, and again, we're getting sort of a glossy look on the Do outside of these. Did you call these pepitas? I did call those so pepitas. So what is that? A pepita is actually a pumpkin seed. There you go. Uh -huh. I will now call them pumpkin seeds. They Look at that. So pepita. Good. You can baffle people at work with that. Go, I'm eating pepitas. <laughs> there you All go. Right. Now and see, this smells really good. I would swear that you uh -huh. had melted butter and sugar in there and you haven't. Uh huh. I absolutely have. I haven't. like it. Real food tastes great. I would like you to pour your nuts okay. over this tray, all over the tray. Certainly, they're going all over there the tray. We go. There Fantastic, we go. empty it onto I'll the just tray. Give that a little scrape out there too. Fantastic. Just make sure that all of those nuts are all over that tray. You don't want to miss any, you see. No, you don't. Very, very valuable ingredients right there. And Good. I'd like you to even them out. Okay. All right, I even them out for me. Certainly. So, out the, the width of the, the yeah, tray. Yeah, that's perfect. Spread it out. Great. Now, that there is going to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at about 180. Now, what you're looking for is a beautiful golden brown colour on top. And the best way to tell is to keep an eye on the bits of shredded coconut because as the shredded coconut starts to kind of get beautiful and golden you know you're ready to go. So that is the first thing to look for. That is exactly Excellent. right. So just remind me again we're putting these in the oven for how long and what temperature? Okay so we're at 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes in a fan forced oven. All right. Good and looking for the coconut to go first because I'm notorious for burning things because I go away and start watching a TV show or something. The last thing you want to do is burn your nuts. No you do not want to burn your nuts. All right. Especially not your coconut. That is exactly there right. There you go. Now Luke's going to show us how to layer this up soon to make the most amazing dessert which is actually a breakfast but first we'll catch up with Holly. Look, I'm salivating over these nuts so I think we've got a parfait to finish. Look these are straight out of the oven you don't get nuts hotter than this <laughs> so I'm gonna place them there. Now you'll notice that I've got some cinnamon right here yes. and the reason I didn't put it on the nuts before they went well, in the oven. I was gonna ask that because normally with the recipe you would be inclined to put that in at the start. I would be there's nothing better with nuts coated in cinnamon but it can burn ah, when you get into okay. the oven. So what I like to do is get that cinnamon across the nuts after they've roasted sure. and then get your spoon and then just gently 
get that cinnamon distributed so you're evenly. It and already I can smell that. Oh, how good is it? It's so good. I'm flicking my nuts at you, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you are. Look, it's been a week of that, but that's it fine. It has. <laughs> now, that is looking absolutely perfect. There's a few more elements we've got to prepare. Now, for people who might be dairy intolerant, coconut cream is a fantastic alternative for those people. You can pair it with your breakfast, but you can also have it on top of desserts. And this is how we jazz it up just a little bit. Great. You get your coconut cream. That's all it is. And then we get a little bit of maple syrup in there. Oh, look at that. And then we also get some vanilla bean. Now, this here <laughs> is liquid vanilla bean, but you could also use seeds from the pod where you just simply slice down the pod just like that. And then with your fingers, you can open it up and scrape those seeds into that coconut what cream. What makes that liquid vanilla bean? What takes it from So they that mix to... that with an alcohol liquid, sure. um, which obviously is an alcoholic for no. anyone, but it helps kind of distribute that in different recipes. Great. So we're going to give that a little bit of a stir, and as you can see, mm. that maple and vanilla creates a beautiful texture and consistency with that coconut cream. And then last but not least, I've got to prepare the fruit. You do. We have indeed. got kiwi fruit Fantastic. today. Fantastic. What a great addition. That's exactly right. So I top and tail the kiwi. Yep. And then we go around the edges ah, ever so tightly. Here's another trick. Or another little trick just around the edges like so. And then we're going to dice this up so that we can get a nice even distribution of kiwi through our parfait. I love it. Remind us again, the name of your book is? Healthy Made Easy, 140 Recipes to Have You Guys Looking and Feeling Your Absolute Best. Uh, and check out LukeHines.com as well for all the latest. Is this your piece de resistance? It is. They are ready to go. And I cannot thank you guys enough for having me here to fill in while Mark was away. I've had an absolute ball. Oh, you know what, Luke? It's been a pleasure having you. We've absolutely loved it. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for showing us all your healthy recipes. Uh, you've been amazing. Fantastic food. Great laugh, too, <laughs> by the way. Uh, so what are you up to when you get back to Australia? I'll be scheming my uh, the best way to get back here very, very soon. Excellent. I'm so pleased to hear that. Don't be a stranger. You are welcome back here anytime in New Zealand.